All right, for sample number two, I'm going to do a curved edge, surged edge. Um, and so what I've done is I've cut, um, I come that far back enough, cut a half circle um, out of a square of fabric. The bigger this is, the easier it will be when you start sewing. Um, so what I'm going to be surging is this curved edge. When we start sewing our shorts or pants together, um, we do have a fairly large curved edge. So um, we're gonna practice that. So I'm just gonna stick a couple of pins in this, make sure that my fabric stays together um, as I'm sewing it. Okay, um, and then I'm going to surge that edge of the fabric. Um, for this particular one, um, I'm gonna line up the edge of the fabric with the half inch mark on my serger. So again, I'm gonna pick up my presser foot, push it in until it gets where it's lined up with that one half inch, okay? And like we talked about, no pins, no hands. We don't want anything going near that knife blade. Um, so we wanna make sure that we're removing the pins well before we get to them um, as we're sewing. All right, so now we're gonna just start um, and I'm gonna try to go as slow as I possibly can. As I'm going, what I'm doing is I'm putting kind of a lot of pressure here and a little pressure here. A lot of pressure with my left hand, a little pressure with my right hand. So that it's just barely turning as I go around my circle. I'm removing the pins well before I get to them so that they don't accidentally get caught. Um, once you get a part of a tail end here, you can even use that to help you guide and just turning on your curve. Um, if you go to a point where like, you're like, oh shoot, I didn't turn enough there, which I didn't, um, pick up your presser foot and kind of just pull the fabric up just slightly. Um, and then that can help you continue on with that curved part. Um, as you, I'm not sure if you could see right there, but I was afraid my hand was getting too close, so I pulled it back. So just make sure you're doing that. Obviously, definitely not getting your hands too close to the edge of the machine. And making sure that when we are finished, we are chaining off, meaning getting a nice long end of our thread. Um, so that way we are not letting this machine get unthreaded. Um, and that will be the result. I will have a curved edge uh, with two squares um, sewn together.